What's up, YouTube? This is Soulsmart 2. We're turning from our prehistoric evil model review. Yeah, today I'll be reviewing uh, a Scootosaurus model made by Safari Limited. Yeah, Scootosaurus was a prehistoric reptile that lived yeah, there in the late Permian period, 250 million years ago. Yeah, although uh, this, this reptile was neither related to dinosaurs nor mammals. This uh, Scootosaurus was actually more... Was well, actually the ancestor of turtles, as you can see why. Because instead of a uh, instead of a shell, th uh, this animal ha uh, has hard bony plates uh, co uh, covering all over this animal's body. Now, which uh, I guess so, uh, eventually, millions of years, uh, this armor will, will become the uh, the, fa uh, the hard turtle shell. Yeah, but uh, but as for Scootosaurus, these bony these bony plates, mm, uh, the armor is actually uh, uh, covered with small bon uh, bony plates. Yeah, uh, called Scoots, which gives the animal's name. No, mm, a shield lizard. Yeah, the uh, the uh, these uh, bony plates uh, are are underneath the skin. Yeah, that uh, act like chainmail. No, which makes it very uh, impenetrable to. Mm, uh, uh, to sharp teeth of predator, uh, of predators. And this animal was built like a tank, as these plates, uh, co uh, covered, uh, cover its head, uh, all, all the way to this animal's back, to the sides, uh, to the ribs, is covered with, uh, covered with armor. It, uh, yeah, even its tip of its tail. Emma's tail has armor all the way down to its tip. Uh, even even the legs of Scootosaurus uh, ha have some armor. Uh, I cover the armor. So that, uh, yeah, and also this head you know, was made of a very, very th a thick reinforced skull. Uh, well, that has bony plates on the side, so... Yeah, uh, no, really, uh, really difficult for, you know, for a predator like a Gorgonopsid, which is the uh, the top predator of the time, no, uh, to uh, to bite the skull a lot like a jaguar, yeah, it does today. And and, and both of so, uh, some Scutosaurus skeletons, you know, have spikes, uh, on its head and the, uh, on their chin, which I do uh, do think they're all in the males have these. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, uh, two, uh, one, two male, two male Scootosaurus, uh, uh, during the main season, two, two male Scootosaurus, uh, all, all, all of a sudden, uh, sizing up each other, fighting for females. You know, for, uh, first these horns. Yeah, for, uh, first these. Uh, these uh, males will bob their heads up and down, much like a modern uh, desert tur desert tortoise do. Yeah, but if intimidation is not enough. Uh, then the males will lo will literally lock horns to each other as they try to uh, you, uh, get under these these boiling places with their horns and try to flip uh, his rival on uh, onto his sides. Yeah, just like a modern desert tourist do, because if you imagine an animal with covered with heavy armor, will be, uh, if you if you fall, it'll be very very tough for this animal to get right back up. So, you know, when the two males cl uh, class, uh, uh, the two males will try to get, uh, uh, try to flip each other, uh, uh, each other over. Now, the the, the, win uh, the winning male who. Uh, uh, flips his rival. Uh, uh, it gets the prize to, uh, to make with a, with a gorgeous mm, female. Mm. Oh, mm, Scootosaurus. Yeah, while the while the, uh, while his rival has fought, uh, got flipped to his back. Now uh, now has to mm, uh, die a slow death of being baked uh, by the hot desert sun, or if he gets lucky, uh, Gorgonopsid. A predator, Gorgonopsid, 
you know, would show up, you know, kind of show up to end this uh, animal's misery. Yeah, that's why. Uh, that's why it was all his armor. He really does have it. Doesn't have any uh, weapons uh, uh, to defend his predators. Because despite uh, despite his uh, fearsome appearance, Scutosaurus was actually a herbivore, a, uh, and like most plenty reptiles, that yeah, uh, and the Scutosaurus had uh, le- uh, leaf-shaped teeth, uh, perfect design for no, uh, no. Uh, uh, trimming uh, de- uh, desert uh, desert vegetation. Mm-hmm. As they squ- uh, squeeze through uh, uh, every ounce of water, uh, liquid, uh, as a source of water. Yeah, like, like I said, this animal really does have no, uh, no weapon uh, to offend its predators other than its armor. Yeah. This animal could, could run up to it's a, it's only choice or it's only choice to uh, I guess a uh, I guess a predator uh, like a gorgonopsid. Yeah, it would be to run. Uh, uh, this animal uh, covering hour uh, could run up to eighteen or twenty miles an hour. Yeah, uh, but eventually he'll tire out due to this you know, massive animal. Plus this is plus this is a cold blooded. Rip- yeah, this is a cold-blooded animal. Yeah, they don't got uh, they don't got any any animals horses to to begin with. Yeah, the animal is as quick uh, quickly as tires out. So the, uh, this is uh, yeah, uh, so a loose uh, uh, a scooter sword by itself is very vulnerable uh, to predators. So thankfully. These animals uh, lived in large herds, you know, up to 30 or 50 individuals. In fact, you know, Scutosaurus you know, were, uh, were the wildebeest you know, of the late Permian times. Yeah, uh, because uh, because thir- uh, 30 or 50 individual Scutosaurus you know, w- uh, would migrate from one continent to another because Yeah, uh, to find uh, fresh vegetation and also uh, some wa- uh, uh, some fresh water that, ha- that hasn't been uh, dried up uh, by the desert heat. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, uh, the animal uh, the animal itself is uh, it is pretty big for uh, yeah, it's very large for uh, the. Uh, no, for a permanent reptile, it was eight about eight feet long, about weighed two tons, about uh, about as yeah, about as big as a as a black rhino. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it for my for the animal itself. Yeah, for as for the figure, uh, as for the model model, the detail as model is uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. I mean, uh, the folks at Safari Limited uh, have captured you know, this animal in uh, a- every m- amount of detail. I mean, this looks like a rare, uh, uh, a real animal. Nah, it absolutely looks realistic. Yeah, you can nice, uh, a nice, well detailed the head. You can see some bo- details of bowling plates. And of course, it's got a little eye right here. Uh, with his uh, nostrils, uh, with, his, with his eyelid, and uh, man, also got you also you can make out his nostrils and his. Yeah, if you look, if you look on, and yeah, and the way they hand, why they hand painted this figure, they come, the hand, the hand paint does does resemble uh, 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 it does have a little modern turtle, yeah. They kind of painted as a, that's like a, uh, to look like a modern turtle. Yeah, with uh, with uh, with, uh, with a dark greenish skin with the yellow stripes on the back, much like you know, much like the color you see in the mul- in some turtle species. Yeah, and and you get see you get a nice 
the sculpted mouth. If you look closely on the front mouth, you can see the mouth is, uh, is slightly open, although you don't see any teeth. You know, but that uh, scale is it's phenomenal. It's really a phenomenal job you know, for it. It's very nice. Yeah, and of course, you know, nice must, uh, nice must, nice muscular, nice detail on the legs. You can see nice muscular detail on the front legs, and uh, nice and sculpted, you know, tur uh, tur almost turtle-like feet. Yeah, with the front. Yeah, although, mm, yeah, with nice sharp claws, nice and molded. Yeah. And of course, all on the back legs, you got a nice uh, muscular detail. Yeah, er, er, yeah, on the yeah, on the thighs, you can see uh, uh, working muscles. Yeah, and, uh, and more uh, nice sculpted toes and cl and claws on each feet. Yeah, and if, yeah, and if you and if you could, yeah. Uh, mm, uh, and if you can flip this animal over, you can see uh, see the feet on uh, the side of the feet is also you know, nicely sculpted, not uh, not flat. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, I really I really like that a lot. And of course, on, underneath you can see yeah you know, see you know details of the scales, and also you know, moving muscles. And on, on his belly, you can see his name, Scutosaurus, uh, underneath the body. Uh, of course, of course, the model is actually not that big. It's actually very small. Uh, uh. It's a very small scale compared to uh, Dimatric John. This, yeah, uh, really, really, this animal's, uh, this model of Scutosaurus will actually it's actually be bigger in scale. Uh, than this, but but really with the amount with the amount of detail that so far uh, folks at Safari Limited have mm, how, uh, put in this figure, yeah, re uh, really uh, easy to get over it, get over. And yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely one of the best uh, sculpted models I've seen. Uh, I, uh, I've seen in. No, from Safari Limited. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely a beautiful job. Yeah, like I said, like I said, even of course, of course, dinosaurs get uh, get a lot of attention. You know, among prehistoric animals, but hey, other prehistoric animals that live before them, well, to me, are just, are just as magnificent as a dinosaur. And really, Scutosaurus uh, really uh, proved it. Yeah, I got really, really just, you know, really you can't. Yeah, and the way, and the way this animal sculpted, uh, like it's uh, walking, uh, re uh, really brings this animal to life. I mean, uh, I mean, you could you could just uh, buy uh, not just one scutosaurus, but you could buy ten or even uh, a couple uh, uh, to make your own herd of scutosaurus, and they uh, and they could make them all like walking like they're uh, like they're Oh you know, no! Traveling across, uh, across the 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 dune sands of the Permian deserts. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely a fantastic job. Yeah, I re uh, really do like the sculpt. Yeah, and yeah, like, like I say, if you like prehistoric animals, yeah, to uh, to me, I think you should pick up a scutosaurus because, well, like I said, like I said, the other prehistoric animals need uh, need. Uh, uh, should be appreciated just as much as the dinosaurs did, because really these were, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, because these guys actually were uh, war with the dominant reptiles in the Permian period, for, well, for, before the dinosaur appears. Yeah, these guys actually had it first, so yeah, re really, uh, I I highly recommend pick it up. And since I have Scutosaurus, I I am definitely going to get it. I'm going to get a a, a Gorgonopsid, yeah, uh, to go with him. So yeah, very, uh, very nice. And and, and and even even though it's on scale, it still works perfectly with a Dimetrodon, because he could also be like a young 
Oh, the baby Scoosaurus. Uh, what a Dimetrodon would have preyed on. Perhaps, uh, uh, perhaps in times when, uh, uh before the great dying, or, no, uh, the whole world was turning to desert. Mm -hmm. Dad, I, I met you on probably preyed on Scoosaurus at, at, at one time. <sighs> uh, but, uh, but anyways, uh, it, uh, like I said, if you like prehistoric animals, yeah, absolutely pick this figure up. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely worth it. And that's pretty much it for our video review for Scootosaurus. If you like this video, please show me a description. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.